as you can probably tell by the way I'm reviewing all these game show titles nowadays, I am a huge fan of the genre. I think game show titles could be a lot of fun at parties, mainly because everyone knows how to play because the show is so famous. The Million Dollar Pyramid is another fun reminder of my childhood, as I loved this show as a kid. Of course it wasn't called the Million Dollar Pyramid back then, as the dollar amount was a lot less. I think it was like the $10,000 or $25,000 Pyramid. But back in my day, that was a lot of money. You could go to the store with a nickel and get some nice hard candy. Not like it is nowadays. The way Million Dollar Pyramid is played, you and a celebrity have six words to guess, and you only have about 20 seconds to give your partner's clues to the word. The clues can't have the word you're trying to guess in it, or you'll forfeit that word and you'll have to move on to the next word. You'll do this through three rounds, picking categories and guessing words. The team with the most points moves on to the bonus round. In that round, you have 60 seconds to guess which topic they're trying to get you to guess. It may sound confusing, but when you play it for a minute, you will get it. The single player game setup was the same as the Hollywood Squares video game, as you have to move through a week with the same celebrity feeding you clues. After a week, the celebrity changes, and so does the difficulty level. They have you pick from a list of six categories. The categories won't straight out and tell you the theme and the words that you're trying to guess. However, you can get a good feel of what you'll be doing from the category name. One of the most unfortunate things about this title is that you'll never be the one giving the clues. It's always the celebrity giving out the clues, and that kind of takes half the fun out of the title. It can get a bit stale when you're just trying to solve the words your partner is giving. It would have been cool if you could have used the Wii Speak to give out the clues to the computer player and see if they can figure out the word that you're trying to clue them into. Anyways, the computer gives you the clues, and when you think you have it, you type in the word you think it is. To make the game a little bit easier, they've increased the time limit up to 60 seconds. Plus, when you're typing, time stops. The typing keyboard was nice. It would quickly guess the word you're trying to spell. In fact, I noticed if you type too many letters and it hadn't brought up the word that you're trying to type, chances are it's not going to be correct, so you might want to rethink what you're typing. After you win, you move on to the bonus round, where your opponent is a bit too close to you for my taste. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, fine. Do you, you think you could back up a little? Oh, I'm sorry. I just think you have a pretty face. Uh, thank you? Do you think I'm pretty? Do you? I, I, you... Can we just play this game, please? They give you a few words, and you're going to have to figure out the category they're alluding to. If you get all six right in 60 seconds, you win the million dollars and unlock a piece of clothing for your avatar. Overall, this game wasn't as much fun as I remember it was on TV. It's the most boring and straightforward game of the million dollar pyramid I've ever played. It's just missing, oh, what, what's the word? Pizzazz! It didn't have any secret categories or anything that would make it different from game to game. There is a party mode where you can play the regular game with two people or head to head. I liked the head to head mode because it was intense at times. You and the other player would see the clues coming and the first to buzz in and get the correct answer would win the point for that word. What was strange was this could be the perfect place to have an actual two player mode where you and another person could play against the computer. You know, one person could have the words on the screen and the other person could turn away from the screen. Then you would give clues to your partner, you know, just like the real show. How hard would it have been to just program press A if they got the word? It's frustrating because the PC version from the 80s had this option available. I remember playing it with my family all the time and it was a lot of fun. I just don't understand why the creators didn't put in the most basic gameplay option. Like I said before, you can unlock new clothes for your avatar but that's about it there were no unlockable movies like the price is right games and that was disappointing there were plenty of great moments from the 70s and 80s version of this game show so why not give us something to strive for the million dollar pyramid was all right i think its major problem was its lack of excitement it was definitely the most basic version of the game that i've ever played and it's sad that the pc version from the 80s was way better than this game definitely wasn't one of those games that i wanted to go back and replay due to its somewhat dull gameplay and for that reason i think you should skip it